Welcome whiskey aficionados to review 108. The Balvini Caribbean cask, extra matured in rum casks, aged for 14 years. Now, truth be known, uh, this is one of my absolute go-tos, it really is. I've been drinking whiskey a long time, I've been reviewing whiskey quite a long time as you know. And there's something about the Balvini Caribbean cask, 14 year old, that for me just ticks the boxes, you know. Um, I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's the balance of the, you know, the age, but more the refinement of the uh, tropical fruits that come through. I'm not a massive uh, guy for the peat and the smoke. You have to be in the right mood for that in my, it's just me, right? Um, but this one, I really like this one. I really enjoy it. Now, it's aged in traditional American oak barrels, as most are, and then it's finished off. I don't know how long it's finished off in the, um, the rum barrels, but the rum barrels, I find in a lot of cases, just give it that little bit of a, a tropical punch, you know, that sort of uh, mango or pineapple or some sort of tropical sort of fruit. Previously held Caribbean rum, I'm gonna say it's at 43%. Doesn't say anything in the tasting notes about, um, you know, the tropical sort of fruits, but I certainly get it. I get it a lot. So, owned by William Grant and Sons, and it's a space side, it's uh, up there in Duff Town in Scotland, obviously. Let's get into it. The nose, you know, it comes across so vanilla, sweet. Hint of pineapple. Sweet toffee, creamy. And you and you definitely got that fruit basket. You can smell a little bit of... Maybe a little bit of spice. Anyway, let's taste it. Oh, you know, 43%, you know, 43, 46 is a fairly good sweet spot, but man, that just goes down so easy. It coats the mouth so well balanced. And yes, I've got that very, very light on the, on the, on the spice, but you've got that sort of tropical fruits. You know, you think of your, your melons, your pineapples, your, your mangoes and a big, big fruit basket and you're, you're taking a big scoop of all of that at the same time that's the sort of maybe not as powerful as that but that's the sort of uh mouthfeel that that's giving you so there's a little bit of oak in there in the end let's try that again oh yeah i do like this hmm oh that's just superb the finish isn't all that long you know um but it really does leave that sort of mouthfeel where it's sweet and just really, really, really asking you to have another sip. It's that type of whiskey where you want to carry on, you want to have more um, value for money. Oh, by the way, I'd, I'd give this 89. I mean, look, it, it's all personal. You might give this 75 or something or seven out of 10, but no, it's personal preference. What I get is not what you're gonna get. And this is just my own personal preference and I like it. I, it's one of my top drums uh, over the last um, decade or so. I just, uh, every time I see a bottle I'm so tempted to buy it. It's around about, in New Zealand dollars, it's around about 155 to 160 dollars, which is not cheap. Not massively expensive for a quality bottle of whiskey though. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I think value for money, actually, I think it's very, very good um, because it is a treat. It is a lovely, lovely dram. It's refined. It's well put together. So yes, I, I think perfect. Mm. Now, just to let you know, um, in case you didn't know, and you probably don't know, I've been an amateur distiller for over the last, uh, oh, probably 12 years. Different stills, different, usually vodka gins and I make it, uh, you know, very, very well now, 
took a long, long time and have had a lot of um, input by um, other amateur distillers and even some professional distillers, you know how you are, to uh, make the product as good as commercial, if not better. Um, I'm going to run a series on this channel. Um, pro I'll probably do a, a playlist and it will be um, how to make single malt whiskey at home. So if you're interested, um, look out for that. It's coming in the next month or so, the whole series. And um, it can be done. You do need a bit of equipment, but it can be done and it's not that difficult. So we'll go through that. I'm excited for that. I hope you are. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, like the video. And uh, if there's anything uh, you want to ask, just comment below. Until next time, flange it.